In the show Severance, your memories are split up into work and life categories. But as a cognitive neuroscientist, I wonder, did they get any of this right? Well, studies have shown that if you sever the brain in two, these two hemispheres have different access to conscious information. But it doesn't seem to separate into two different sets of memories. I understand you're confused about the severance procedure. The show does depict when there's a transition, such as walking into or out of an elevator, that's when we activate those memories for work or activate those memories for our life. There have been lots of studies that have shown that if you cross through physical boundaries, like a doorway, this does alter what you have conscious access to, like your memories. We've all walked into a room, and then we forgot, why are we even here? So what's the biggest flaw? You are sparing with the facial encouragements. Well, memories can't neatly be separated into work and life categories, but rather it's a network that's distributed across the brain. So if you disrupt one set of memories, you're likely also going to be disturbing the other set. Much like if you took a string from a guitar, let's say, you wouldn't be able to play any song just the same way. So what's the final grade? Severance gets an A plus for entertainment but a much lower grade for scientific accuracy. Feeling attacked? Just like other types of media that display memory, how the brain works is oversimplified. However, it's still a great concept.